In more local coverage now, some Providence firefighters are on their way to Arizona right now to pay tribute to the 19 firefighters who died while battling a raging wildfire one week ago. They will attend a special memorial ceremony for the fallen heroes tomorrow. Today, Eyewitness News was there as our local firefighters took off from TF Green Airport. That's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen. He has the story from Warwick now, new at 5. The city of Providence, the firefighters union, even Southwest Airlines got involved to make it possible for five Rhode Island firefighters to be there in Arizona. It was a somber scene. 19 white hearses carried the bodies of the 19 wildland firefighters to their final destination in Prescott, Arizona. Hundreds of firefighters, police and citizens of Arizona lined the 125 mile path they traveled. Well, now Rhode Island firefighters will join those men and women in paying respects to the 19 lost. When one brother or sister firefighter dies, it doesn't matter where it is, everyone feels it. It's a big family. Five Providence firefighters, including Stephen Rule, boarded a plane at TF Green Airport to be there for the Tuesday memorial service in Prescott. You can't even picture how the families feel. I mean, they, these people leave behind sons and daughters, you know, they have parents, and I mean, you see the families walk in and it's just, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, you can't help to choke up, you know, because it could, it could be you. The 19 were trying to build a protection line between the Yarnell Hill fire and the town of Yarnell, but winds suddenly shifted the fire and cut off their safety route, ultimately taking their lives. Rule said it's a reminder of how dangerous the job truly is. No two fires are the same. It's, I don't care how much uh, experience you have, how long you've been on the job, it's, it's, it can happen to anybody. The Granite Mountain hot shots will be buried with the American flags initially draped over their bodies at the tragic fire site. And make sure to stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the memorial service going on in Arizona. With the Mobile Newsroom at TF Green Airport, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.